an artillery piece in Syria. No surprise given the war that's going on there. But this gun was built in Nazi Germany. It dates back to the 1930s, but today it's in the hands of a jihadist group fighting in Idlib province. Military experts suspect such weapons were looted from government arms depots. Despite its age, the equipment seems to be in full working order, still killing 80 years after it was manufactured. Mexican doctors taking naps, not very reassuring. It is, though, a staged protest against people who criticize doctors for being overpaid and then daring to sleep on the job. So these doctors got together to remind their fellow citizens how hard they work, sometimes pulling shifts that are 24 hours long. Yes, they say, we sleep on the job because we have no choice. Our observer Karen Sadi is a school principal in Sana'a, the capital of Yemen. Her school is closed because there's a war going on, but she's still taking kids in, teaching them in her own home. She takes in the poorest kids, the ones who have no place else to go, and keeps them busy with drawing and poetry writing. The horrors they see on the streets around them are only too evident. Finally today, a reminder not to trust everything you see online. As demonstrations continue in Burundi against the current president, the biggest private media have been closed down. People's only source of independent news is the internet. But we have spotted lots of fake images in circulation. This one supposedly shows a recent torture scene in the country. But in fact, it's an old photo from Nigeria, published in a report by Amnesty International. A reminder to check that something is true before you pass it on.